Hello, this is Sailboat Bend Preserve in Fort Lauderdale. It's a nature preserve. Isn't this gorgeous? This is Wild Coffee, a Florida native shrub. Flowers for butterfly species, pollinators, berries that attract birds. This is an area that the butterflies like a lot. We're on a nature trail. We're going to try and video show you a butterfly, but first, let's hike the trail. Common butterflies of Florida. At this particular preserve, one of the things I've seen is the Julius sulfur zebra long wings. So I've uh, seen some of these. Oh, uh, let's try to find Julianas. And I seen those. And I seen with this, or this, or that. One to three. Okay, let's hike. Excuse <coughs> me. Okay, so now we're at the nature trail, it's Sailboat Bend Nature Wildlife Preserve. And I wanted to show you this. We saw it earlier. A huge spider. You see the silk down there. It extends from the spider from there all the way to there. So a huge spider web. Like huge, literally. Okay, sorry for all the dramatic. <sighs> sorry. Just excited a bit. Anyway, now the wild coffee. Sable or cabbage palm. Southeastern U.S. native palm for the state tree. Hmm. Cool. And it's by city of city of Fort Lauderdale. Hmm. Very interesting. Anyway, as we hike the trail, we will do a hammock. The canopy overhead. Last sign I have time for. Laurel oak, southeastern U.S. native tree, relatively short-lived tree, living about 80 years. Hmm. Interesting. City of Florida, delicate. <laughs> so, Sailboat Bend Preserve is right by, of course, Sailboat Bend. Beedy Berry. A uh, certain times a year, I saw them in September. This Beedy Berry plant here will produce uh, purple berries that the birds like. Beauty Berry, beautiful plant. plant. So as we hike down this trail, I can see invasive plant exotics, not hold on, like one species, native saw palmetto. They can live up to 10,000 years. See, you can right there, saw palmetto. <laughs> Quite weird structs over there on the low tree. Anyway, they didn't know one of those invasive plants. This is strangler fig, isn't it? Isn't it pretty? Here it is. This is the Florida invasive exotic. I forgot the name, but it's bad, and it does not belong here. But everything else I've seen, except for one uh, uh, invasive, sorry, except for one invasive exotic Australian pine, everything else is native. So, or not invasive, at least. Here, this is more of a wetland area. Bald cypress. The wood is extremely resistant to decay, and this is and it's dis deciduous, whatever it's called. More wetland over there. No bald cypress. Pretty cool. Necklace pot. Yellow flowers year round southeastern for the native shop necklace pot. But this is which is this right here. We're almost at the end of the trail of Sailboat Bend Preserve. <clears throat> when I, ooh, Jamaican Keeper. And this flower, this is a grapevine, Florida native, some on the vine. And this vine right here by this necklace pod patch, look at this flower, just gorgeous. Here's inside of the flower, very to be inside. Just beautiful, like look. I don't know what it is called. If you please 
comment down below. I want to know the name of this vine you're trying to get from my native habitat. Okay. Mulberry. Southwest for the native shrub, which attracts wildlife. City of Orlando. Just a miracle. Okay. Okay, if I catch you grass, Eastern US native grass, easy to go. Find the all native grass center from West Florida. Fakahatchee is the name of a preserved state park in Copeland, Florida. This is it. Sailboat Bend, preserve on this street. In Florida. Now we go a little. If you walk down here, all the way to the end is the trail that takes you back. Where Kind of where we started. The sailboat brand preserve is a very small preserve. It's not big. Ooh, ooh, see that back there? That's fennel. It's a lava host plant for black, black swan to butterfly. <coughs> now if we go down the street, this is there's another neighborhood entrance to the sailboat brand preserve too. See, there are fennels all along here, too. Beautiful, like, beautiful, like. Took my time. It is 4.53 o'clock. Ooh, look at it. Gorgeous ball Gorgeous. Absolutely. So, this is the nature preserve. Most of these plants are Florida native, like the Spanish nettle, often mistaken for weed, but it's a Florida native butterfly nectaring plant. These white flowers here are Florida natives. They're a good nectaring plant for red, raddy dagger rings, or whatever they're called. Call so, up here is a private neighborhood. Okay, I, no, it's not private. As long as you don't go into the property, it's not private. If you go to the entrance of the preserve, you're okay. But anything else, it's bad. You're only allowed to walk down here if you're not living here or visiting someone here if you do anything else. You only can do the nature preserve here. I would recommend you to walk on the gravel so no people think you're trying to invade your space. Okay, here's the other little trail. Preserve hours, or park hours, eight to nine. Train service animals only, alcohol, no, never, right? Park information, 954-828-PARK. Park hours, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hm. Come here, not one time. Actually, you know what? I will come here at the night, one time, and shoot this same preserve again. Just for you, my friends. Anyway, let's explore the west of Sailboat Bend Preserve. This is the area I tend to see those Julias. I've got to try to find lots and lots of dragonflies too. Beautiful, like. Heh, <laughs> it got blurry. Lots of butterflies. See, here's the sulfur. Sulfur. Back right there. That's a sulfur butterfly. Bahama Cassia, host plant for the native shrub for the native butterfly. This is where I saw the Julia's. Now, before I to, uh, my mom said to go meet her back at 810 over there. Let me 410 over there, so. So I find Julia for y'all in here. This area is a certified wildlife habitat. How amazing is that? <sighs> okay, so this time we'll be back started. Oh, there's still were all over here earlier, but they are gone now. Alright, so this is the end of the video. Have a good day. Sailboat Bend Preserve 2 credits.